A Paralympic rowing medalist is calling upon Uber to step up its game when it comes to following the law. Victoria Nolan says an Uber assist driver left her standing on the curb because of her guide dog. Explained to him that I was blind and that it was a guide dog and, you know, expecting it to just be a misunderstanding. But he insisted that he wouldn't take me. I explained to him that it's illegal, that we have laws protecting service dogs. And he said, no, he was canceling the order. And he hung up on me and left. Nolan had just finished training at the Toronto Pan Am Sports Centre when she decided to try Uber Assist, a service for people with disabilities for the first time. But she says the service was anything but helpful. The bronze medalist says situations like this happen too often. She wants to make sure Uber and everybody else knows that guide dogs need to be accommodated. Really want everybody to know that this is the law in Canada that guide dogs are allowed to go wherever people can go. And just to allow us to be normal people, that's all we're asking for is just to, you know, to feel part of society and we just want to be treated normally. In a statement, Uber said that it's sorry for what happened and that it's looking into the matter. The driver's access to the app has been suspended while the company figures out what happened. I spoke to disability advocate David Lepofsky earlier today and I started by asking him for his reaction to Nolan's experience. It's appalling, but sadly not surprising. Even though it's been illegal to refuse service to a blind person accompanied by a service animal like a guide dog, for over 40 years it keeps happening. Why does it keep happening? Because the provincial government uh, under Premier Kathleen Wynne has not kept its promise to effectively enforce our accessibility laws, our Disabilities Act. Let's talk about those laws. What specifically do the regulations say when it comes to this? We have multiple laws that say you cannot refuse service to a blind person accompanied by a guide dog or any other person with disability uh, accompanied by a service animal. Uh, when it's uh, a public service or facility like a taxi or a store or a restaurant, you just, it's against the law. It has been for years. But it's wrong to leave it to individuals with disabilities to have to go to the media or go to the Human Rights Commission and battle these incidents one at a time. I was going to say, we keep talking about this. You and I have talked about this so many times over the years. Does it come down to the government then not having enough resources to deal with this issue? Is no, it no, the no, will no, is no. not they, there? What is it? No, the, the will to keep their promise to effectively enforce the law doesn't appear to be there. They've been promising us in letters to my coalition for years that they will effectively enforce the Disabilities Act so that individuals with disabilities don't have to battle these barriers. The provincial government passed a law in 2005 that assured us, that guaranteed us, that this province would become fully accessible to people with disabilities by 2025. That's less than eight years away and at this rate we're not going to reach it. The government's got to crack down. If, or if, if taxi drivers or Uber drivers or stores or restaurants knew that there would be real, prompt, and serious legal consequences for breaking this law, things would change and we wouldn't have to keep doing these interviews on this. Public education, is that also needed here? Do you think that you the rest of us are aware enough? We, we've, been, we've been trying public education for 40 years. That ship's not only sailed, that ship's sunk. Done. The best public educator is a strong law with effective enforcement. We've got the strong law, we got the promise of effective enforcement, and we just call on Premier Kathleen Wynne and her government to keep that promise. It's time already. Time to finish talking about this and actually be out there handing out the punishment when they see these incidents come up. When something proven. like this hits the paper, the government should be out using their audit and inspection powers to go to a company like Uber and say, what are you doing? Have you complied with the regulations? Have you done enough? And if they haven't done what they're supposed to do, they should be issuing compliance orders. They got the power to do so. We don't need to educate them anymore. We need to get them to obey the law. And that's not to say education isn't helpful, but when, when they know there's strong enforcement, they'll want to learn fast. Seems like common sense to me. As usual, David, thank you for your time. Thanks very much.